criticism? There's no criticism at all, but um, there might be some, yeah, Analyze. instruction, cru analyzing. <laughs> Bow to me. Bow to each other. Take your fighting stance. Set! What you've got to do now is you, you've been, you were hit probably about three or four times down in the legs and stuff, and there was nothing going back. So when I feel nothing coming back, I'm just going to unload. I'm just going to keep coming. So if you keep getting hit, and you say, well, they, they, they don't bother me, you know, that's fine. But there's nothing coming back. So he, in his brain, is saying, there's nothing coming back. I'm just going to unload. So he just keeps unloading and unloading and unloading. What you've got to do is you've got to take that, even though you get hit with it, if it doesn't put you down, if you get hit with it, what does that tell you? It tells you that he's pretty close. If he can hit you, he's close to you. So if he's close, go. You've got to keep him honest. You've got to keep your partner or your opponent honest. This is just free fighting. This is part of your training. If he's a real bad guy, then take him out. And later on in another session, then I'll show you how to do that. Okay, go. Try to stay to the body. That way you don't crack him in the head. seeing some good stuff. You've got some good things going. You had a chance to sink that right hand that far into him about three times. What you did is you pulled off that punch. That means this. So upper body's going one way and you're just extending the punch. Take that body with you. Shoot that whole step, step, same time. <clears throat> same time. Same time. Please remember, gentlemen, if you have your, whatever foot is forward, whatever foot is forward, my right foot is forward, my right hand is here. Watch what happens as I close this very, very slowly. Watch this hand, my right hand. Looks simple until you try it. Watch. My front hand becomes my back hand. So you're saying, well, as I step, he's going to punch me. But the punch and the step are the same time. Same time. Same time. It's not step, punch. It's step and punch, same time, same time. And it gets you inside. And that comes off the shuffle. Shuffle. <laughs> See it? Shuffle. Now don't let me come in there now. Close the door. You got a lock? You got a padlock on that door? <laughs> okay. Keep your hands up. Go. One minute. That's better. That's better. Now, when you kick, you've got a very good leg kick. That left leg is very red by now. You've got a very good leg kick. Your 
letting a big opportunity go when you're hitting him so many times with that leg kick. If you hit him real hard with that leg kick, all you need is that one shot. That leg kick will take him right out. However, that little drill that we worked before, if you take that other side, if you take that same side, right kick, right hand. See my right hand sitting on that hip? And fire it this way. One. Well, you don't want to hit him in the head. Watch where this goes. One. And just drop it over here. Remember, you drop that thing here. You're just getting it behind the tricep. The elbow's got nothing to do with it. The tricep, tricep, back of the arm. So one, drop it here. It only goes that far. So what you're doing, and you're doing it very well, is this. See your body? One, and you don't want to keep getting hit with that. So when, you, when he hits you with that, you should send this, okay? And take this other hand and one, two, and then drop it here. If you can control it up top, that's fine. If you have full contact, then you hit him in the side of the head. 30 seconds. Go. Ah, Chihuahua. Muy bien. Okay, good gentlemen, bow to me. Bow to each other. Very good. Shake your hands. Very good guys.